Hey, you can read, so I'm not gonna repeat the title. What makes these three projects, these three ideas I'm gonna give you today so advanced? First off, these ideas rely on a lot of different technologies that play nicely together. For example, natural language processing. That also means we need to make some good design considerations because number two, we're gonna rely on heavy personalization. And that's gonna put a lot of load on our services and our database. So we need to make good design considerations. It's not as plain and simple as just making a markdown blog. By the way, since I know you really like the complete walkthrough videos where we build entire projects from scratch, let me know one idea from this video in the comments down below and this is gonna be the next long form video that we're gonna code together. Idea number one is chatting to PDF files. Now that can be like a university lecture, that can be technical documentation. Essentially, we can upload our own PDF files to that service we're gonna be building. That service will index everything semantically so we can later perform a search on it. I'm gonna get to the technical implementation here in a second. And then we can ask questions, we can summarize the PDF. We can execute a lot of different stuff against that PDF to interact with it. And there are existing solutions that do just this. So that means there is demand for such a service. Now one idea I had what our service could do better than those existing solutions is its own diagram engine. What does that mean? I find this idea really cool. I just had it and thought, wow, this would be a nice feature to implement. It essentially means we can make diagrams from our PDF file, just like in Excalibur, for example. Concepts that are explained in the PDF as text will then be transformed into a visual infographic, a visual diagram that's very easy to understand. And if you're using the PDF for learning purposes, it makes it super easy to summarize the principles behind the PDF instead of just having the text. A technical implementation could look something like this, where when a PDF is uploaded, we extract a pure text that we then save into a vector database. Now, what is also probably a good idea is storing the file directly in something like AWS S3, so we don't lose the file once this whole process up here is finished. What this allows us to do is perform semantic queries against the vector database because the text is already in there. So user chats with PDF and asks it a question, we can just query against our vector database and find the semantically most similar things from the database, send that to a large language model and answer the user question from that. Idea number two is a language learning service. And that is pretty generic, right, Josh? There's a lot of those like Duolingo, for example, that do a great job. So what exactly can we do better than those existing services? Well, you see, there's two things about that. First off, because there's a lot of services, it also means there's huge demand for learning languages. That is number one important if you build a SaaS app, you want to make sure people actually need it. And then secondly, for the app we're going to be building, we're going to rely on heavy personalization. That is the advanced aspect of this idea. That means we can determine user strength and user weaknesses, which part of the language is easy to the user, which part is hard. We can determine that by the amount of mistakes they made in completing a sentence, for example. And then with our personalization engine, we can make sure the user is subjected to things that are hard to them more often so they see it more often and learn it easier and things that are easy you know we don't need to ask them that a lot this is called adaptive learning and what it means is the longer a user uses our app the better the suggestions and the questions we can ask the user will be the more tailored they will be towards the individual problems of that certain user and if you want to take this really far one great idea I had would be to also implement a text-to-speech engine of course, in the native language that the user is trying to learn, because that will enable the user, assuming that the engine is good, which it better be, that will allow the user to really get a good feel of how to pronounce what they're currently learning. Okay, and lastly, idea number three. Just a couple days ago, OpenAI introduced the possibility to custom train ChatGPT models. I personally have trained a lot of GPT models, but the problem is always that you could only train the really expensive ones. So having a SaaS rely on custom trained models was incredibly expensive. I thought it was awesome, but you just couldn't possibly do it without selling your service for like 50, 60, 70 dollars, which is just way too much. Well, now you can. And this is the perfect opportunity to build a side project idea generator. Not only would I be super interested in this, but I think many of you would too. How cool would it be to have actually good ideas on a button click that explain you step by step how to build a side project, generate original good ideas. Now this project, it's super important to get a good data set to train your GPT model on because the output of the model will be as good as the data you put in. If you put in crappy data, you're 
you're gonna get crappy ideas. And to be honest, I am not a hundred percent sure of where we would get the data yet. Normally Reddit is a super good place for this. For example, I had a side project that generated YouTube video ideas. It worked super well. Again, it was very expensive, but you can obviously train it on well-performing YouTube videos and well-performing YouTube titles. With side projects, it's not as easy. Maybe you have a good idea for this. How you could turn this into a SaaS would be to generate these small good ideas for free and then offer logged in users and paying users to give them a step-by-step -step guide on the idea and how to execute it with different options on enhancing the experience for the users and just guiding them through step-by-step -step and giving them like a 10 ideas per day quota. Now the advanced aspect of this idea would be a skill assessment. What that means is you do not serve the same idea to anyone that is asking but you factor in if the person that's using your app is a beginner, an intermediate or an advanced coder. For the beginners you serve apps that are pretty easy to make but still unique good ideas and then for the advanced people you serve long complex ideas that involve a lot of different packages for example so they also have fun coding along with your ideas. Okay, I really hope you enjoyed these three ideas. Again, choose one and we can build them together as a long form video where we go from scratch, build the entire idea out and turn it into an actual SaaS. That's gonna be it for me for this video. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.